Now, let us proceed to the probability distribution and histogram for the probability distribution. In the previous grade levels in studying mathematics, we have learned how to make frequency distribution table given a set of raw data. In this part, you will learn how to construct a probability distribution. In the previous part of this video, you already learned how to determine the values of discrete random variable. Constructing a probability distribution is just a continuation of the previous part. We just need to include an additional steps to illustrate and compute the probabilities corresponding to a given random variable. Lesson 3, Probability Distribution and Histogram for the Probability Distribution Here are the steps in constructing the probability distribution and histogram for the probability distribution. Following the three steps in finding the random variables, here are the additional steps. Step 4. Construct the frequency distribution of the values of the random variable t. Step 5. Construct the probability distribution of the random variable t by getting the probability of occurrence of each value of the random variable. And last, step 6. Construct the probability histogram. Let us put it in example for better understanding. We are going to use example number 1 in finding the random variables. We will continue it in step number 4. Construct the frequency distribution of the values of the random variable t. First, we will make a table. In the first column, you will put your answer in your conclusion in step 3. In the second column, you will put the number of occurrence or frequency in step 2, column 2. Now, you can total all the occurrence or frequency in the second column. Step 5. Construct the probability distribution of the random variable t by getting the probability of occurrence of each value of random variable. Copy the table in step 4 and add additional column, which is the probability. The value will be the frequency over total. For the total, add all the values in probability column. We can now write the probability distribution of the random variable t. The probability distribution of the random variable t can be written as follows. Now, let us proceed to the last step. Step 6, construct the probability histogram. We are going to use the values in step 5 and make a bar graph to construct the probability histogram of the given example. This is now the final construction of probability histogram. Now, let's take example number 2 in finding the random variables. Step number 4. Construct the frequency distribution of the values of the random variable t. First, we will make a table. In the first column, you will put your answer in your conclusion in step 3. In the second column, you will put the number of occurrence or frequency in step 2, column 2. Then total all the occurrence or frequency in the second column. Step 5. Construct the probability distribution of the random variable t by getting the probability of occurrence of each value of the random variable. Copy the table in step 4 and add additional column, which is the probability. The value will be the frequency over total. For the total, 
Add all the values in the probability column. We can now write the probability distribution of the random variable t. The probability distribution of the random variable b can be written as follows. Let us now proceed to the last step. Step 6, construct the probability histogram. We are going to use the values in step 5 and make a bar graph to construct the probability histogram of the given example. Here is now the final construction of probability histogram. For more examples, open your module on page 13.